In this Lightboard session, we're going to talk about state persistence options for Cloud Hub. So Cloud Hub being a cloud-hosted runtime plane, we need to be able to share state between our workers. Now, if you're hosting your Mule runtimes in Cloud Hub, then you don't have the ability to put Cloud Hub into clustered mode. So it will never be in clustered mode as far as Hazelcast is concerned. So in order to share state between more than one worker or to persist state between shutdowns of all of the workers, we need to use an externalized object store and externalized queues. So to that end, if we have worker one, And worker two. So you've got your mule app on there. Same app on there. And these, when they need to share state, now they don't need to share state for everything. Some state can be just kept in memory. So there is the option of using an in memory object store. Okay, so each node can keep their own, or each worker can keep their own state. And that is not shared. So this would be the in memory option. Uh, same with VMQs. So if we look at VMQs, if you've got VMQs just in memory, local to the worker, publishing from worker one will only end up in worker one, publishing from worker two. So when you go to the persistent variety, so you can select it as an option, then as part of the Cloud Hub infrastructure, we have externalized the object store and VMQs so that you can share the state between your workers. So if we think about uh, the queues, so these would be the persistent, persistent flavor of queues. And with your object store, same sort of deal. If you are using the persistent, object store, then that is externalized from each worker. So if, they, if the app needs to put data into the persistent object store, it will go out of the worker, talk to a shared service, and that way you can shut down all of your workers. You can restart them because they're not keeping the state in memory. So external persistent object store, external persistent queues. This is called object store version two at the moment. So there was a version one, but version two is local to the region that you deploy the worker in. That's the big difference from my perspective. As far as the persistent queues, again, it would be when you want to use queues as a way to load distribute between app, this app, just this app, across different workers. So these are all scoped to the application. Although it's shared and it is externalized, it is still per application. So app A can see its object store, app B can see its object store, they don't overlap there. And that's the option for persisting state in Cloud Hub.